Hi, this is Jake from MapWise, and today we're going to give you an overview of the MapWise software. So when you first log into the software, it'll populate the map of Florida here. We can start off just with a parcel search just by hitting this top search bar here. I'll type in something like 127 Charles Street, and it'll bring us directly to 127 Charles Street. Now I can also click on that parcel specifically, pull some parcel details here just on the map. We can click on property details and view more property details. If I click on this parcel ID number here, we can go directly to the county appraiser's website and view some information on the county appraiser's website. We can also click on more property details here. This will populate a printable page for you such with information such as owner and property description, legal descriptions, building summaries, certified values, recent sales, and SunBiz corporate data. You also have some map layer stats available, so you have soils, land cover, future land use, city limits, and census demographics. Again, this is all printable just by clicking view printable page. If we go back to the map here, we have tons of different layers available for you. So if I'll click on the layers tab here at the top left, you have your base map overlay which gives you information such as schools, city names, city boundaries, census information, highways and streets, as well as traffic counts from the Florida Department of Transportation. Under your custom layers, you have FNA Managed Areas, which is Florida Natural Areas Inventory. You have some drawing tools available to you, wastewater disposal and drinking water source, and then environmental resource permits that populate directly on the map. Under your parcels tab, you have tons of information here on each parcel. Just click on the layers. You can play around with them, such as owner labels, uh, parcel ID numbers, address points, year builds, existing land use. Recent sales, you can click on the recent sales here and it'll populate all of the recent sales on the map. Again, just click on any of these and you'll be able to view them. Really useful for property appraisers. You have future land use and zoning labels right on the map. Elevation, contours, hydrography. You have FEMA flood zone maps here. So if I click on this, it'll populate a flood zone map for us. Land cover, which will give you wetlands and your land cover usage. Soil information, we have a ton of soil data, which will include uh, hydric soils, soil component names, labels for you, scan maps, this is USGS topo maps. You have some elevation models here, if you click on that and then just click anywhere on the map, it'll populate an elevation for you here. And then you have tons of different aerials, so we have color infrared, which is very useful for identifying wetlands. You have 2023 true color, which is updated yearly and then you have high resolution 21 to 2023, for example. If we go to our parcels tab up at the top left, we can do a parcel search within the map extent or within a drawing polygon, which would mean that we draw a shape and then search within that shape. We can come here, we'll do a search in Brevard County under the last name of Jones. You have a ton of information that you can input. So you have owner mailing city, site address, parcel ID number, zip codes, you can also search by land use types, FLU codes, zoning codes, or acreages, square footages, year built, or sale dates. If I click on the search parcels here at the bottom, it'll search. We found 1,297 total results. We can export this record here to text or to Excel. We can also export this as a records mailer. I can export the polygons of this to a shape KML or DXF file, and then I can also save this search give it a name and come back to it tomorrow just by hitting load save search. If I click on the property details of this second parcel here, it'll pull once again that printable page for us that I can print out. If I go back to the parcels and hit zoom to, it'll bring us directly to that parcel. I can click on this select parcels here and then we can do a select by polygon. And if I just draw a shape out on the map here, for example, within this little block, Click on it, it'll now highlight all of those parcels that fall within, and then it'll populate the owner information as well for us. I can also measure the area and distance, so I can come here and just click around on this parcel, double click to end any line, and it'll give us a total acreage as well as square footage. If I do measure distance, we want it to show how much street front property we have here, we can see 150 feet there. Now, you have a ton of drawing tools available to you as well. If I click on the Manage Projects and under Personal, if I just click on the Collier Project, Load Project here, 
it'll load that project and you have tons of customization features such as drawing text directly on the map you can draw different shapes such as this square or the star you can draw a line and you can also input logos all of these are interchangeable you can change these out so i can just click on something go to this logo graphic here and we can make this maybe a best western i'll make a medium logo and there's your best western logo see more about this on our youtube channel we go really into depth about this next you can also print the map here so i can just select you know maybe an eight and a half by 11 11 by 17 or 24 by 6. so i can just change up some of the map features here and it'll scale it as well for you down to one inch i can also click on the generate image to download and we can generate based on width and height image resolution dpi so we have low resolution, high resolution prints, and then your image format, you can do a PNG or a JPEG. This here also allows you to generate a snapshot of the current map. So it would just take this picture within this current map extent and then screenshot it for you. So hopefully this helped. This was a ton of information we just went over in a really short period of time, but we wanted to just kind of give you a good overview. If you were interested in learning more, you can book a demo with us. There's a button directly on the homepage of our website, or you can check out some more of our YouTube videos. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching.